The all new Subaru Solterra is based on its oddly named Toyota sibling, but in a refreshing change, Subaru stuck to its guns. In Canada, it will arrive one way, and that is with all wheel drive. This tidbit means the Solterra has two electric motors. They combine to produce 215 horsepower and 246 pound-feet of instant-on torque. This setup has a responsive sport mode and it offers a one-pedal drive using the regen braking. This allows the driver to control the speed using the throttle pedal alone. Now, while it's true that having all-wheel drive is going to make it more expensive than just the two-wheel drive Toyota, I think the decision to go all-wheel drive was the right one. The electric motors get their juice from a 71.4 kilowatt hour battery pack that Subaru says should deliver around 350 kilometers of electric only driving. When plugged into a DC fast charger, the battery can be charged to about 80% in a little under a half an hour. True to Subaru's off-road mandate, and as it is with the likes of the Outback and the Crosstrek, the Solterra has 210 millimeters of ground clearance, and it arrives with the company's X-Mode all-wheel drive technology. It eases the drive off-road, and it comes with hill climb and hill descent assist. Inside, the Solterra has a slope center console and a 12.3 inch touchscreen that runs the infotainment system and works with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Subaru's EyeSight driver assist technology is also standard. Versatility? Well, you'll also find up to 850 liters of cargo space. So there you have it. There's a great deal to like about the new Solterra, especially the decision to go with all wheel drive. Now, one of the design mandates should have been to put more differentiation between the Subaru and the Toyota. They are essentially the same vehicle. As it stands, it boils down to a nose job, which is a shame. I'm on the floor of the LA Auto Show, and for Driving.ca, I'm Graham Fletcher. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram.